Mm -hmm. signatures. So yeah. what we are doing, since they've taken all these documents and so on, we are using a two-pronged approach. Yeah. Our lawyers have uh, now quickly began following up this issue because police came without a search warrant and they took all these different things, the raids, paraphernalia, they took documents and uh, signatures that had come through because we were going to present this to the Electoral Commission on Friday, but they've taken all these different things. And so we are wondering, have they now become, have they taken on the role of the Electoral Commission because the Electoral Commission is the one meant to receive these things, signatures and everything and verify these things. So we are, we are here to hear from police what exactly was the reason behind their coming here and all of that so our lawyers are following up but as they follow up we're also being very practical because we know that police might insist on remaining with these things and say we're using them as exhibits and all of that so we have activated our mobilizers in the field to tell them uh, please begin to gather other signatures and if you go to those people sign and they say but we already signed please explain to them the situation at hand so as we follow up we are hoping that they can release these things to us because none of them is out of the law but we know that that process might delay and that's why we have quickly, quickly activated the process of uh, getting other signatures such that we are ready, you know, because we must be able to present these things to the Electoral Commission. Uh, of course, you know, we'll also be telling them, you saw what happened, all these documents have been taken and so on, but we are being practical because we know that the state is doing all of this to try and make it impossible for Honorable Chagulani to be on the ballot paper. And that's why we are being proactive. Thank you.